All right, my dears, now that I have your attention, I thought I'd hop on and talk about the real stuff that needs to be talked about, and that's the Calgary real estate markets. For this year, I thought I'd do something different. Instead of just posting my newsletters, I want to actually speak to them and explain some of the details just to give a little bit more depth and context to what you're reading, especially for my younger generation and for anybody that's new to real estate. You know, getting these newsletters is great. They're very informative and tell you everything you need, but reading them and actually understanding their context is a whole other story. So I'm going to start from the basics, going over what you can expect each month, starting with the top of the page, you're going to find the four different categories that we look at in real estate. And that is the detached sector, the semi-detached row houses and apartment styles in terms of properties. Okay. So detached would be your typical homes that that are set on a piece of land. Semi-detached means the home is attached to another property. So those are also referenced to as duplexes or side-by-sides. Row houses are also referenced to as townhouses in some places and apartments are straightforward. We look at these four sectors every month and there are four key things that we are looking at, which you will see right underneath. And that is the inventory. We look at the number of sales that have taken place. We look at the benchmark price and the overall general price point in terms of average for that style. It doesn't mean that your property is worth, you know, six ninety seven just because it's detached. It could be less, it could be more. There's other variables that come into play such as neighborhoods, location, condition, things like that. That's why you need to get a home evaluation if you are looking to put your home for sale. And what I want to start with is going over those top four categories and what needs to be thought about and what they are telling us. So if we look at the detached sector, it says that we had an inventory of 1,020 single family homes on the market. And from that total sales were at 598. Benchmark price went up 13%. And we're sitting at 697400 for the average price point. So when you look at these numbers, what we're looking for is what they tell us, the speed of the market. And this is evident by seeing that from 1,020 houses, only 598 sold. So that means just because you're putting your house in the market doesn't mean it's going to sell in one day. So it's showing that it's a slower pace in that sector. That means that, you know, the inventory might be sitting for another month. It might be sitting for another two months. Those sales might happen in the next month or two. That is something to look at. Semi-detached, we see that there was 182 homes for the inventory and from that 116 sold. So that is a more closer bracket, which means that that sector was a little bit busier in terms of the sales, okay? And also the inventory was low. The price range did go up 12% and we're sitting at 627.1 for average price point for a duplex right now or side by side. Townhouses are our most aggressive in terms of movement and climb and the price points. And that is evidenced by seeing that the benchmark price went up 20%, right? Compared to 13 only for the detached. And we're sitting at 425.1, inventory was 287. And from that 253 sold, that means, and that shows that for every townhouse that went up, almost all of them were selling very close to. And then, of course, the apartments, we're seeing that there were 675 on the market. From that, 399 sold. They are our second fastest moving product or style of property. And they went up 19% with an average price point of 321.4. So, whoops, there I am. That is what we're looking at. That's what seeing these numbers helps you to understand quickly is to see how the movement is going. Obviously, if there's lots of inventory and small sales, that means that sector is moving slower than the other ones. Okay, if you're having 300 properties on the market and 300 sell, 
that's very aggressive okay it's it's an insane market that is just the beginning